Hey guys, it's Paul here from Paul Tran DIY and today we're making these parallel bars which can be used for exercise or rehab, any way like that and basically I hope this video helps a lot of people out there who are trying to make these. So I'm basically going to list everything in the description for you for all the products I used and materials and so let's get started. One of my family members recently had a stroke and is trying to relearn how to walk again so I decided to make parallel bars to help them rehab. The first thing I did was I got measurements from the physical therapist for proper height for the bars and also the width for the wheelchair to fit in between the bars. Some will not need a wheelchair to fit inside but for my situation that's what was needed. You could also just make parallel bars for exercise. So this project project actually has dual purpose, dual usage for me, and I can do dips, uh, work out my abs uh, on these bars. So for those of you who want an in-depth detail on how I built this, the second half of the video will go over everything in more uh, details and instructions. When I first started to think of a design, I knew I wanted to the parallel bars to be portable and so I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube and Google search where people dig holes and pour cement to hold the and secure the legs of, of the uh, parallel bars and so there are also a lot of designs where people use PVC pipe that did not look aesthetically pleasing and just didn't look very stable in my opinion and so I decided to use wood and metal for my main materials to build this the base was 3 fourths inch maple plywood and the legs were 2 by 6 legs cut in half and glued together and then I used uh, 1 and 1 quarter uh, steel closet pole rods to use as the bars and to secure the legs in place I used wood glue, pocket screws, wooden dowels and metal brackets. To secure the metal bars in place I first drilled a hole into the side of the leg uh, or pole and then I used a screw to secure it in place. Then I decided to make a farmhouse style end with a X design. This is both for aesthetics and to add strength. Then to do the final touches I used a router to round everything over any sharp edges and I stained the entire project with Danish oil. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the process of making these parallel bars. I hope it helps people out there who are trying to, you know, either rehab or just have it as an exercise tool. And so, uh, if you want to see what I'm working on, check me out on Paul Tran DIY on Instagram. Until next time, see you later. Alright, so this is going to be the more detailed section of the video on how I made this. So as you can see here, this leg or pole is made out of two by six cut in half and then I just routed the edges round over here just to make it a nicer feel I glued them together and I used pin nails and clamps and then to secure it to the bottom base here I used four dowels in the middle inside and then two pocket screws on each of the edges and then I used these metal plates now this one here is 3 fourths inch wood screws, 
these right here are one and a quarter inch because the bottom here is only three fourths inch maple plywood. And I also rounded over the edge here with the router just so it has a nicer feel. And then I used Danish oil to finish the top. Now here, as you can see on the side, is a support that goes all the way down to the base. And I just put a wooden dowel right here and glue. And I don't think it really did much on the ends here where you enter the parallel bars. And I also used a wooden dowel here. Uh, it would be best if the wood had a support on the side coming down, but then it would get in the way, so I didn't do that. Uh, so to install the closet rod here, I used a Forstner bit, and I drilled a hole here, and then I inserted it. And then from the side, as you can see here, I covered it with uh, wood filler but I screwed a hole all the way through into the closet rod and then I used a screw to secure it in place so it doesn't move. And I also used Gorilla Glue inside here, uh, the expanding kind, so then it would secure it in place if you have a little bit of wiggle room. Now to make it even stronger on the edge here, this is where the real support is to create stability. I basically used two by twos and I put it along the edge down there and I secured it in place with wood screws into the uh, base and glue and then I used for the X design same thing I used wood screws into each place uh, and then on top here same thing you can see here I screwed all the way through into here to secure it and I, I just covered it with some wood putty or wood filler. And that's basically it. It's a pretty simple design. Uh, the ends here are definitely a lot stronger than this point down here. Uh, but I can still do uh, dips here and it still holds my weight just fine. And these mirrors here are not part of the parallel bars. It's just there um, for now to help with seeing yourself and watching yourself exercise. So that's the point of the mirrors. But when, that's definitely not part of <laughs> the parallel bars. So I hope that gives you an idea of how I built this. And that's it. All right. See you guys next time.